Double bass's Chelsea Strayer is a freshman at Peabody Conservatory. I try to get in about like three hours a day of practicing, plus on top of, you know, having other rehearsals for a few hours normally every day. The long hours and intensity of the repetitive movement caused pain. I've had pain in my arm before here, but it's never been in my wrist area before. Mm -hmm. And um, I've gotten bruising quite a few times now in the same place in my hand. You really want to avoid any pressure on your elbow. Strayer's teacher encouraged her to visit the Center for Music and Medicine Clinic located on campus. So, so when you push Co-founder yeah, you're Sarap Bashtepa Gray told her musicians get injured more often than people realize whether it's tendinitis or a sprain. Four out of five musicians who play an instrument will get injured during their career at least once. One will recover and get back merely to playing their instrument. Two will continue playing but will have chronic problems with acute episodes along the way. And unfortunately, one will discontinue their art because of injury. Bashtepa Gray, a medical doctor who plays the guitar, is familiar with both the joy and pain of playing an instrument. That nerve in this position is bent right here. So it's under pressure. But yeah. that would be Associate Dean Sarah Hoover says having a clinic on campus sends a message to student musicians. I think that they, they also understand that it's okay to talk about it. It's okay to go to their teachers when they have a concern. They don't have to hold it inside. It's made me much more aware of, you know, that I need to take breaks and that it's okay to take breaks because, you know, it's better to take a break than be out. Now, Johns Hopkins biomedical engineers and neurologists are working to develop a new smart guitar that will measure how much pressure a guitarist is placing on his or her mm -hmm. arm and fingers while playing. I think it would be valuable in training musicians with evidence-based pedagogy so that they, they can develop certain motor skills more quickly without a lot of repetition, which repetition is also one of the occupational hazards. Bashtepa Gray says this approach can help musicians enjoy what they like most, playing music without suffering injuries. For writer Faisal Masri in Baltimore, Faith Lapidus, VOA News.